What's up YouTube, this is Chris, back with another video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing an unboxing and first impression of the Pissy Fun Phantom X bait casting reel. So let's not waste any time and let's jump right into it. So here, we got the Phantom X. It's in the original boxing that it comes in if you order it uh, from any, any website, whether it be from PC Fun or from Amazon. So it's gonna come in this box, normal PC Fun box. Most of their boxes look about the same uh, that I've actually gotten. They're all black with some sort of uh, nice finish on them with the name of the reel. And then of course, you have all the specs on the side of the box like uh, in my Carbon X video. So you got all the specs on the side of the box. This is actually a little bit uh, the writing's a little bit smaller than the Carbon X and that was one thing that I love about the Carbon X box is everything was right there and it was huge so you could see all the specs. They're really trying to show the specs off on that reel. This is a little bit smaller but it's kind of a, it's got a cleaner look. It's not as like, I guess you could say gaudy. It wasn't gaudy on the Carbon X but the, the writing was definitely bigger. So here, got the box. You're gonna bust it open. There she is. The Bad Phantom X. So the first thing that you're gonna notice about the Phantom X is the way it looks. Look at how nice of an appearance the Phantom X actually has. So one cool thing with the Phantom X is its colors actually change. So depending on what gear ratio you actually get, the reel itself is gonna change colors, like the accent colors. So this one is a seven six to one gear ratio. So you're gonna get it in red, where I believe the lower gear ratio, the lowest you can get is blue, and the one in the middle is orange. So that's one cool thing about the Phantom X is the color difference and the gear ratios. I think it's actually really, really unique by Pissy Fun to actually do that because you don't see that with a lot of other reels. A lot of other reels, for example, Shimano Corrado, you get, it's one color. No matter what gear ratio you get, it's gonna be the same color every single time. So that's really cool. Shout out to you, Pissy Fun, for doing it a little bit different. So you can actually distinguish what the difference is uh, for the gear ratios on the boat when you're, you got your rods laying down, especially on your bass boats, you know, a carpet. You got them all laid out on the deck. On your crankbait with the blue Phantom X here for the lower gear ratio, and then you wanna s switch it up to a worm or like something that's gonna crawl on the bottom or a pitching and flipping rod, you're gonna want that 7.6 to one the fast gear ratio you see the red reel right there you pick it up you're ready to go you don't even have to look at what baits on the end so that's really cool that pissy fun did that but it is a slick looking reel the phantom x is really 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 sexy so i mean i don't think there is another reel a bait casting reel out there for sixty dollars that's right sixty dollars that looks better than this reel i mean pissy fun knocked it out of the park with the the way that they uh specked out this reel or uh, made the appearance look. The next thing that you're gonna notice about the Phantom X is how is its profile, actually how small it is. It's really a, a very small reel for that $60 range. It's not, you know, so it's not too small. It's not gonna look like a little kid's bait caster, and it, but it's not too big. So you know what I'm talking about when you get those big, bulky bait casting reels and it just looks like it's not gonna be fun to use on the boat. It's not gonna fit in the hand. You're not gonna be able to grip it very well. As you can see, I can pretty much palm this thing and uh, you know, the whole bait caster, bait caster sits in my uh, hand really, really nicely. So it's got a really, really nice profile. All right, so the next thing that I noticed about the Phantom X here is the real knob. The real knobs are the foam, the what, EVA foam, I believe it is, uh, knobs. So you're gonna have little to no slippage with these knobs. I've actually used them on quite a few other reels, uh, especially the Carbon X. If you go back, look at my Carbon X video, the reel by PC Fun. I believe this is an actual same knob that they use for the Carbon X, and I actually I really enjoyed that knob. So I'm glad that they kept it on the Phantom X. Uh, it's a really, really nice knob. You're not going to have any problem gripping them. Um, the only time you ever have problem with the foam, I notice, is when they the foam gets a little bit wet. Sometimes you might have a little bit of slippage, but you're not going to have any problem whatsoever with the Phantom X. Um, these knobs are really good knobs. The next thing that I wanna say, I actually think Pissy Fun did an amazing job with this, is the drag, adjusting the drag here. This is a very premium feel. For $60, this drag system, the way it feels when you're actually adjusting it is actually just very impressive. This feels like a Shimano Corrado uh, type drag 
where when you adjust it, it it's got that pre premium feel. You can actually hear, so I love that PC Fun incorporated this, but all the pinging that this thing makes. So you're not gonna know, or you're not gonna hesitate at all when you're fighting a fish on tightening your drag or loosening it. We all know that that can be a problem with baitcasters when you're reeling in, and let's say you actually do slip when you're reeling and you hit this knob, you could actually tighten it way too much or loosen it way too much to where you're gonna lose that fish. So with the Phantom X, you're always gonna know whether or not you're adjusting your drag. So that, that's a really good thing. Another thing is they actually put, and this is one of the very first things I noticed when I was messing with the reel. So your tension knob here actually has a pinging noise as well, where most t tension knobs on most bait casting reels, they actually don't have a setting. So with the Phantom X, when you actually turn your tension knob there, you hear the clicking. So I don't know if you can hear that there, but you actually have a setting. So the only way, I, the only comparison I can think of is when you're in a car and you're turning like the radio up, some cars have a free knob to where when you're turning it, you know, you're, you're bare, it's not actually clicking in a place where some of them the radios, you know, when you turn that knob, it actually has a setting for the volume. This has a setting for this actual knob so you can hear when you're adjusting it. All right, so let's get into the actual, how does the reel feel? So straight out of the box, when you crank, crank this handle here, the knobs, it's smooth. I mean, that is very impressive. It's, you know when you grab a bait caster, let's say, let's say a Bass Pro shop, for example, you're shopping around Bass Pro, and you go to their displays with all the different bait casters, you go to the, the premium ones, you know, the, the ones that are $150 and more, you, you reel that handle, and you notice just how smooth that reel is. This is as close as you can get to how those premium, premium reels that are $150, $200, and this is $60. So pissy fun, that is amazing that you actually made a reel that compares to those upper class reels as far as how smooth it is. I mean, watch watch when I turn that. That thing just, it goes and goes and goes. Only thing, knock I guess you could say, that I have so far about the Phantom X is I notice when I do reel, it is very, very smooth. Oops, I'm not getting a good little turn there but I hear something in there just a little bit. So I hear the gears actually working in there. Remember, reels are all mechanical, so you, sometimes you're gonna hear things, but they do need grease and lubrication. So I'm guessing from the manufacturer is that they actually under-greased it. So you notice overall, this reel makes a lot of noises, um, most of them being good noises though. So when you click it down, you're always gonna know when you're ready to cast, because you're gonna hear it right away that click and it's got a really nice rubber padding there so you're not gonna slip you know you're always gonna have a nice grip on it you can press it down and you're never gonna hesitate but when you click the the reel over and you're going into actually fishing listen to how loud this click is I don't know if you can hear that or if it does it any justice but you can distinctively hear when you've actually clicked that over and your your spool is not free free moving and you're ready to fish so that's another thing. I just love overall that you can hear everything. You know exactly what you're doing with this reel, whether you're casting, whether you're reeling, whether you're adjusting the drag, whether you're adjusting the tension up. You're always gonna know exactly what you're doing. So, Pissy Fun, you did a great job with that. I, I must say, that that's something I enjoy. Sometimes when you pay for those premium reels and you don't hear the drag working, you don't hear you know the tension knob you don't hear you know when you're you're letting your line actually loose it's not a very engaging reel you know it's so smooth that it's almost you don't feel like you're using the reel itself well that's not going to be the case with the phantom x so i love that shout out to you pissy fun you know for making sure that it's a very interactive reel with the unboxing and the first impressions let's go over the specs that this reel actually brings out because i'm sure that's what you guys really want to know so for your bearings, you're actually gonna get eight bearings in this reel, so that's plenty of bearings. Not gonna have any problem with that. Your gear ratio, like I already mentioned, this one is a seven six to one, so this one's the red one. The lowest gear ratio comes in blue, and the middle range gear ratio actually comes in orange. So you're always gonna know, like I was saying earlier, what gear ratio you have right out of the box or on the boat. Your retrieve per turn with this seven six to one, you're getting 33 inches per turn, so 
look how many times I just turned there. You, you're gonna have no problem reeling in fish. Your max drag on this little bad guy is 18 pounds, so that's impressive. For a $60 uh, bait casting reel, especially with this low profile, you're getting 18 pounds of drag. That's, you're gonna need no more bass fishing, I promise you that. If you need more, then, man, you got some huge bass uh, in your lake, so invite me out. The weight of this reel is 6.9 ounces, so it's not like, the lightest reel you're ever gonna buy but you're not gonna have any it's not gonna be uncomfortable carrying this around it's still a very light reel so your mono capacity is a uh, 10 pounds at 120 yards your braid capacity is 30 pounds at 120 yards so you're gonna be able to fit plenty of line on this uh, bait caster this reel in particular I'm gonna be using for pitching and flipping so really you don't need a lot of line at all you could pretty much spool two-thirds of it with uh, backing and then put 65, especially since 65 pound braid so expensive, you don't need to put a lot on there to actually flip and pitch and to cover. So that's the specs of the Phantom X. On the side of the box here, they say ultra smooth and reliable, which we're gonna test that. The ultra smoothness, they already got a check mark and a pass on that. The reliability, I don't know yet. We're gonna put it to the test. I'm gonna have plenty of videos coming out for you guys, especially on this Phantom X because I plan on using it a lot. I actually plan on getting a couple more, especially the lower gear ratio, the one that's uh, blue for some crank baiting. As you guys have seen in my past videos, we've been catching some monster bass on some crank baits. So I look forward to getting that one in my hands. So shout out to Pissy Fun for making a really nice reel, a, a very appealing reel, a supposedly reliable reel, a very ultra smooth reel for $60. If you guys want one, I'm gonna leave the description uh, or the link down in the description box below. But other than that, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the page for more. Hit that little bell notification so you're always gonna know uh, when I upload a video. And make sure you like this video. It really helps me out. And leave a comment down below. Have you ever used the Phantom X? Are you gonna use the Phantom X? Tell me in the comments below. All right, guys, peace.